So you're editing a video in Adobe Premiere and you've just finished taking all the garbage off of your timeline and you're left with gaps galore. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of all of those gaps in a matter of seconds right after this. Hi, I'm Matt Quinlan for Boy Meets Film. Today we're gonna to talk about how to easily and quickly remove the gaps on your Adobe Premiere timeline. Those pesky things can be really annoying and you either delete them individually or maybe you're gonna drag the clips so that they're together. I have a much easier way, so let's take a look. As you can see here, we have a very simple timeline with a video that my son shot on my cell phone. I just kind of threw on the timeline and clipped a whole bunch of chunks out so you can see a whole bunch of gaps here. Now, you could take and individually delete these or you could drag the clips over, but I have a much simpler way, so let's take a look. First of all, you're gonna take and create a new color mat. Just click OK. It doesn't matter the color, so click OK. And I'm gonna rename it Gap Tool just for simplicity's sake. Next, you're gonna highlight all the footage on the timeline and drag it all over as far left as possible so that the first clip on your timeline is touching that zero spot of the timeline. Next, you're gonna take and drag the Gap Tool to the layer above all of your clips, and you're gonna extend it out as far as the clips go, all the way to the end of the final clip on your timeline. Now, I've only got a few clips here, but it will work with as many as you have. Next, you're gonna highlight all the footage again, and then drag all that footage to the layer above over top of the Gap Tool. It's gonna to create a whole bunch of gaps over top of this tool that we have. Make sure to leave the footage highlighted. Don't click anywhere else in the timeline because next, you're gonna take and drag that footage back to its original timeline. Finally, you're gonna highlight all of the pieces of the gap tool that are left on that layer. Right click on one of the pieces and then click ripple delete. And there you go. All the gaps are instantly gone as if by magic and your timeline is completely cleaned up. That's it, it's as simple as that. The gap tool is a huge lifesaver, especially when you've got hours worth of footage you've been pouring through and you don't feel like deleting all of those gaps. Every time I start a new project, I create that gap tool because I know I'm going to use it at some point in that project. Thanks for watching this episode of Boy Meets Film and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the great videos that we release on this channel. Thanks for watching again and we'll see you next time.